a solar water heater is a unique category of geysers that utilizes sun rays to function. These are widely preferred for their low cost of operation and eco-friendly nature. So, let's go. Number 1, Most Popular Collector-Based Systems The first two types both use a solar collector that is placed on your roof. This absorbs the sun's rays and transfers the heat from those sun rays directly to your household water which is pumped through the collectors. The water heats up as the sun hits it. When the sun isn't shining, you obviously can't heat the water with solar energy, so you need to have a backup fuel source, usually gas or electricity. Of course to avoid using this electricity or gas you store the hot water in a well-insulated tank. Generally these systems can provide from 50 to 100% of your home's hot water, depending on where you live and how efficient your solar hot water panels are. Number 2. Heat Pump Systems A lot of people believe that the heat pump isn't a proper solar-powered system because it does not use collectors. These people are wrong. Heat pump systems don't need any solar collectors because they use a different type of solar energy. Where conventional solar hot water systems need sunlight to heat the water, heat pumps pull solar heat out of the air around us and use this heat to increase your water temperature. Although it sounds unlikely there is actually enough heat in the surrounding air, even on a winter's day, to heat your water right up to boiling. Heat pump systems do use electricity to remove the heat from the air and transfer it to your water, they are basically air conditioners in heating mode, but they use around 75% less electricity heating your water in this way, compared to a conventional electric water heater. Number 3. Evacuated Tube Solar Systems Evacuated tube collectors collect the heat through a number of annealed glass tubes that each have their own heat-absorbing plate inside. There are loads of different designs, but the basic principle is the same for all designs. Basically each tube is like a little greenhouse that traps sunlight inside the glass tube which is used to heat either the water directly, or a special heat transfer fluid that transfers the heat to the water. The name comes from the fact that a vacuum, which is an excellent insulator is created during manufacturing between the outer and inner glass tubes, this makes for a very efficient solar heater. And the fact that the tubes are round, not flat, means that they can efficiently collect heat no matter where in the sky the sun is. In contrast a flat plate collector is at its most efficient only when the sun is directly above the panel. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.